What's happening YouTube? Welcome back to the video blog one more time, the Hoxton Trent Chaps. Okay man, so I got that Canada Goose, um, the Jillian, which is really cool. Got one right here. And I said I'd do a quick review on it for you. Um, so yeah, let me begin man, let me just get straight into it. First thing we always notice on jackets, we always just want to have a quick look at the zips, just see what they're saying, make sure the zips are all live over. Because when we're spending big boy money, we want to the we want to see detail, we want to see quality, we want to make sure they're not leaving anything out. And as you can see here, we've got some nice Vislon YKK chunky zips. Really love seeing big old zips like that on my jackets, man. And zips like this, you just keep running them up and down the track and it's so easy, man. You do that a million times and it will never fail. That's why we always like designer brands using um, brands like Vislon or Lampo, okay? So yeah, good to see they're using that, guys. The other thing that we've got here is we've got the... Uh, all the stars are engraved as well, and I believe it's engraved with Universal, as we can see right there. I don't know if that's um, Canada Goose's own stars or whatever, but yeah, it's just nice to see, man. It's just good to see detailing. That's why I always look at that. Um, look at the patch there as well, the Canada Goose. I really like the Canada Goose patch, man. I don't like it when it's too big. I like it when it's just um, kind of small, and this one seems smaller than some of the other ones I've seen. I could be wrong, but it just looks a bit smaller. But uh, yeah, loving loving that patch there, that's really nice. Looking at some of the other detail, we've got Canada Goose at the bottom there. Not really sure why we need that there to say that it's Canada Goose. It's a bit evident that it's Canada Goose there. I thought like, maybe they just thought, oh, we need to put some more information, more detail to let people know. But yeah, that's there anyway. Um, we've got some pockets there, so that's really cool. We've got a pocket at the front there, as you can see. You can also enter that from the side. And on the inside, they've been using a different type of material. It looks like a fleece material. So that's really good, because if your hands are feeling a little bit wet, when you put them inside there, they should help to dry them up a little bit. We've also got a little, little kind of, I call this like a knife pocket or something like that, but you've got like a little pouch in there, you can put your little bits and bobs in there. Not really sure if you can fit a pint in there, but you might be able to fit a beer bottle or two, or maybe even three, depending how slick you are. Um, what else have we got on this jacket that I can show you? Yeah, let's look at the inside. Got the inside there, got Canada Goose, made in Canada Goose. Now someone was saying to me, when I said www.canada, um, dot goose dot com on the fake and they were like but Hoxton man it says that in the real one and if you look there guys look clearly it says www.canada-goose.com it doesn't say dot goose.com okay guys so for those of you that are trying to catch me out on this one nice try but never mind maybe next time you never know so that's that for that right what else I'm going to show you on this the other thing we've got on here is all the labels inside there guys made in Canada um, and what's really good is we've got the um, we've got the hologram there and again we've got that kind of alien looking face in there man that's really creepy it looks like ET or something what is that exactly I don't know but it freaks me out um, got this quality assurance with the down mark that's the down down association so that's trying to tell us that, that it's proper quality down in there but couple of videos I've seen are saying that Canada Goose don't use, um, they don't use, uh, I don't know the word, but when they're getting, when they're not, what's the word, when these, uh, they're getting the fur from some of these animals, man, that it's a bit cruel the way they're doing it, so a lot of people don't like Canada Goose for that, they get really upset, if you, if you Google a lot of the YouTube videos, you'll see, I, I even had a Canada Goose video and lots of people started jumping onto my video and started cussing saying, why are you wearing Canada Goose man, you're a murderer. And I was like, whoa, these people are taking things a bit way too far. Um, the outer shell is 85% polyester, 15% um, cotton. Actually, the outer shell is, is something that they call um, tech, Arctic tech. It's um, Canada Goose's own technology. It's basically man-made fibers and it also has, it's also coated with Teflon as well. So this is meant to be really, really um, durable. It's meant to be really good for the um, wind resistant, water resistant as well. So it's meant to be a really durable uh, material and it's meant to keep all the heat in from the goose and the down inside the jacket. So it's meant to be really, really warm. Um, actually, the, I think this Gillet is really, really comfortable, man. I think it's really quality and it's 250 pounds. 
I, I actually don't think that's too bad because I think this is a, the type of jewelry that you will just keep for a very, very, very long time. So I don't mind spending big boy cheese on jackets. I think I'll have it for such a long time. And the thing with something like this is it will hold its value as well. You know, Canada Goose is very much a premium brand now. They never used to be so premium like that back in the day but now they're becoming a bit more of a fashion brand so I believe these will hold their value so I, I, I think it's worth picking one up and if you were to sell it a few years down the road I still think you'll be able to recoup a lot of your money especially now that you've got the things like the hologram in there as well so people can check that it's genuine so that's that guys this jacket is available in lots of different colours I had it in a camo I sold that one there's a black I've seen blue I've seen red orange um, green there's tons of colors on this one man. when I saw the orange one I thought I need to get it but as you can see I'm trying it on the side and the only thing um, that was annoying about this was the size was just incorrect man it, it was too big it felt like a large that was a bit annoying so I will be sending that back I don't know if I'm gonna be bothering picking up another one because I've picked up some other bits and bobs now so I it, you know I don't really need it I just thought yeah I'll hold it until until the winter time so anyway so guys, that's the review for the minute. And actually, let me just do a special guest appearance, man. One second. Bam! Special guest appearance on this one, guys. Got my true religion, Gilet hair. Absolutely love this Gilet. It's so warm, so comfortable. It's got real, um, it's got down insulation on the inside. And yeah, it's just a really nice um, Gilet, man. Now, I wanna try and compare these two. This one just feels more durable because of the material outside the front and even on the inside it feels a bit more puffy when I do that but I still love this True Religion one as well. I cut this one, I can't even remember. But you can you can pick these up on eBay. I've seen them going for like 50 quid on eBay, man. It's called the Carter Gelee and this is a size medium right there. Um, I really must, I'm gonna be getting some um, True, I got a True Religion fake tracksuit coming in guys so I'm gonna do a fake versus real true religion coming real soon so hold tight for that guys i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you find it informative let me know if there's any other brands that you don't want to see any other subjects you want to talk about shout me on the snapchat send me an email instagram or just leave some comments on the comments box below and let me know what's popping okay that's it for the minute i'm off to um amsterdam tomorrow so i'm out of here guys have a blessed night yeah in a bit Peace out.